Like any culture in the day, women did not have the same social rights and advantages as men. Women had no social rights. And if you want an example of that, just do a little traveling. And there is still a culture today that lives in the Old Testament culture, and it's on the face of the earth today, that women have no rights. And that was within Israel too. And so, if all of this in the 21st century mind disgusts you, and you don't like it, then praise the Lord. Because Jesus tried to teach New Testament Christians that the old way was what? God. Jesus said, put your sword up. It is not a part of my kingdom. Jesus said, when your enemy comes to you, do what? Turn the other cheek. Jesus said, love your enemies. Folks, that was as anti-culture as you can get and an absolute change in the culture and the ideas. New Testament Christians were to do away with all the Old Testament culture ideas when Jesus came. And by the way, what did Jesus do for women? He elevated them. And that was a new idea and a new day. And so... Back to the story. Why are some terrible stories recorded in the Bible? I think to teach us what sin can do in a person's life. And just because they're in the Bible, that does not justify the sin. Just because in Old Testament culture they had harems, you don't have multiple wives today. Because Jesus says to New Testament Christians, no, that wasn't God's original plan. Now, with a little context of the Old Testament, culture of the day, we look at the story. All right, look at the story. You heard the expression, a picture conveys what? A thousand words. Look at that picture on the screen. A whole story in those pictures. One picture is David on the balcony. The other picture is David and one of his eight wives, Bathsheba, looking at a baby that has no life. Does that tell a whole story of why? The story is tell, told well. And I'm not going to repeat the story. <coughs> you can go home and read it. I just challenge you to read the story of what God was trying to tell. The story is told well by Nathan's parable. Do you remember Nathan the prophet? He came to King David and he told him a parable. That's recorded. And I don't have time to read that today. That's recorded in 2 Samuel 12, 1-3. 